the shots and tear gas didn't stop thousands of Palestinians marching through the streets of Bethlehem. Their defiance provoked clashes with Israeli security forces who used live rounds of ammunition to try and stop the demonstrations. We are the ones who feel what it means. We are the ones who had to flee. We are the ones who left our homes and land. During this day, we remember our parents, our grandparents. This is the least we can do to commemorate Nakba. Protesters say they also marched for more than one and a half thousand Palestinian political prisoners, fighting for their freedom, who've been on hunger strike for a month. Prisoners are calling for better medical services and more time with their relatives. Nakba is a painful memory that is coinciding with a new battle led by our heroes in the prison by their open hunger strike. We have to use this occasion to awaken the national movement to support our captives. Protesters carried symbolic keys representing houses from which their ancestors fled 69 years ago. The war in 1948 left more than 5 million Palestinians stateless, scattered in refugee camps across the world. Nakba reminds us that our rights will not be forgotten and must be recovered. A fact of its name, Nakba, the catastrophe, the great disaster, the tragedy. And it was a real tragedy because it was the prelude to loss of the holiest place of the earth. The Palestinian diaspora wants the United Nations to back their right to return home. But the ones who stayed say protests and clashes are the only life they know. Keisha Ferguson, TRT World.